Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. Today, I am going to take up a very general question which is asked to me by several people and that is, what is the career path? What is the roadmap for QA or testing? Now here, I will uh, tell you the different roles that you will have to go through in this profile in QA or testing. So you will generally start as a QA trainee or a software tester trainee. And as you start with a trainee, your work or your responsibility will be to learn uh, the skills, learn the, the QA process, the testing process, learn the QA fundamentals. Uh, you will be having to, you will have to uh, write test cases, run test cases. Uh, you will have to see the execution process, find the defects, raise the defects, follow up with the defects or bugs, learn the defect tracking process, learn the defect tracking tools or whatever tools are being used in that project or in your team. So you will be required to learn all these basic things the foundation level things and do testing and learn how to how we create test cases how we run test cases how we report the bugs team communication so this is what you will be doing as a trainee and generally after a few months or after a year uh, you will be converted into a software tester or a QA tester or, a, or you can say a QA engineer. Now here you will be continuing to do the same things that is uh, writing test cases, running test cases, raising defects and uh, following up with the defects team communication, but you will have some higher responsibilities. You will also be have to, you will have to train the other new people in your team. So you will be doing almost the same things with some higher responsibilities and you can keep on increasing your skills as well. Now. After a few years as a software tester, you will become a tester, a test analyst or a QA analyst. Now here, along with all the earlier things that you were doing, you will be involved in the testing and the QA process right from the beginning, where we discuss the requirements, where we discuss what should be the testing strategies, what should be the test plan, uh, how we will manage the testing process, what user stories should go in, how we will, uh, uh, test these user stories, what should be the tools involved, what should be the techniques involved. So you will have visibility in, in the complete QA process, the complete QA process right from the beginning till the end. And then uh, you can then turn into a test or QA engineer. Now QA analyst or QA engineer, you will be doing more or less the same things as an engineer in some organizations. Uh, uh, we call this role as QA engineer where you are more into the engineering side on of uh, creating the frameworks, solutions for testing process. So you will be doing all these things as a QA analyst and QA engineer. Now, until here, this is the technical path. Here, most of the things you will be doing will be the practical hands-on. And now from here, there are two paths. One is into the, if you want to continue in the, in the technical field and you want to be hands-on, or if you want to go into the management line. Now from here, if you want to continue as a technical person, you can become a technical lead. Now technical lead will be responsible for managing the QA testing team, and he will be having more visibility in the, uh, uh, the tools he used, the, the scripting part, the framework part, and all the technical things uh, related with the QA and testing process, along with the technical team management, then you can grow into a test or automation architect. And here you will be responsible for designing and developing frameworks, helping the team, guiding the team in all the technical uh, aspects. So you can convert into a test or automation architect. And from here, you can grow into an expert because until this stage, you will be having a lot of experience, a lot of skill set, and then you can decide if you want to take some particular field and you can grow into an expert. And here, the different, uh, fields you can go into is you can become an expert in the QA process, in the QA automation process with different tools and platforms and skills required. You can grow into DevOps engineer, a DevOps person, and you can learn the different DevOps uh, tools and techniques and platforms. Performance testing is another very great field. You can become an expert in performance testing. Uh, security testing is there. Then after this, because until here, you will have lots of skills, lots of experience. You can decide to continue in a job or you can also do freelancing. Now here, uh, if you decide and if you want to become a freelancer, always first uh, start along with your job and then see how you are performing. Can you uh, do it full time or not? And only after that, you can decide to uh, decide to become a full time freelance person. Now, this was the technical uh, field. If you 
want to continue in the management line after test or QA engineer, you can become a test or QA lead. And here you will have more uh, work as management, management of team, management of people and resources and less technical hands-on work. Uh, then you can grow into a test or QA manager. Again, it will be more people and uh, management things here. And then you can go into the senior management roles in the organization or in the QA process. So this is less technical and more management and more people skills here. So you can decide which uh, path you want to grow into in the testing and QA process. So this is the complete career path. If you want, you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you. And with that, uh, we will stop the session here. If you have any more questions for me for the next episode of Ask Raghav, you can let me know in the comment section below. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.